hello guys and welcome back to the second episode of unit 2 as i did mention uh unit 2 is all about composing combo co parenting and grouping so that's what exactly we will be doing so the reason I'm, i told you about this is because I, I want the body the entire part of the body to be grouped or to be under the same parent so before i'll do that i'll show you that then i will go deep to that so let's go to our head i really don't know what happened there so let's go straight to our head then this is our head so i'll go down from here then i'll go straight to that plus button then click that plus button then i'll go to my capacity my opacity then you double click there then i'll just put my opacity on 50. then i click ok then if i click my opposite on 50 that means now i can see anything which is behind my head so what i'll do i'll just go straight to my custom shape as usual then i'll just make a very sharp curve here then i'll just leave it like that i don't want it to make it anything complicated then i'll just draw another sharp curve here Then I'll just zoom this one, then I'll just go to select, just make sure double click because if it shows like like this, like those four corners, you can see those corners, those dots are straight, that means you'll be stretching it. Then you have to double click, then you have to see those point on, on straight, the corner of your shape, then you can just come here, then you hold it until it reaches that black part, hold here, then you bring it a little bit inside. So I'll tell you guys uh, why. So I'll come here, then I'll double click there. I can write your your head line. Uh, you can write your head line one. Then you can go there. You can write your head line two. Then we have those two lines so let's make sure we take select so now we're gonna we want every time our head moves those lines two lines moves so i gotta go select um that uh that first line you click control to select the second line then you can hold both of them then you go and put it straight to a head so they'll be linked to the head so every time your head moves then means like every time your your head moves that means those two lines will also move that's what i was trying to explain on the previous episode then you can minimize them like that then we go straight to our face let's close this then we go straight to our okay here we also try to minimize by 50 the opposite make it uh, minimize by 50 then you have that then we'll start by drawing this we'll be using the shape then we gotta just doing like this trying to get it just like that that's it then we go we gotta double click it then we say uh, ear filler or a liner whatever you call it then i just click there then i go straight to draw my mouth so my mouth don't have to go straight with my um i don't have to link it with my um my face and then i'll just be doing it like this just be doing it like this then I can just click here then I just double click and I double click there then I can write my mouth I don't know the spelling I, write, I wrote there I wrote mouth instead of mouth 
and then then you guys do the thing yeah but yeah so i gotta just take this then i go i hold it as usually then i put it straight to my ear then um I just close there i don't have to move my uh my mouth then let's close let's close this then let's go downwards here and we go straight to our face then let's put uh, our opacity back to 100 and we see how it looks then that's what we have so far so we go straight to our head also we put our opacity to, to 200 we put the opacity to 100 then that's how our heads look like so to see like um, what we have did so far we can just click on that eye thing to remove like the background of um, the image so that's what we have so far for the face then we can also click here we can go straight to our mouth to our face to see more details that we need to add or we can just come here and we go straight to composition one let's go to drag net to just see more details we can add so we can just add a little bit of a sharpness here then we can reshape our mouth and add a little bit of a white inside it so that's exactly what you will do let's go back to our person drum let's wait for it to load so let's add a little bit of a sharp um, thing here just select that then we can just put like a, something like sharp like that then that's all then we can double click we can write here a face uh, sharper that means like you are adding more depth to your face that's what I'm trying to do there I'm just trying to add more depth to my face just hold it then I go straight to my face I put it to my face because I want it to go with my face then um, I, this one thing that guys I'm pretty sure like you did notice so we can just go straight to our head because you can see how it um, on top there's that thing you can click ctrl x just to cut it then you can click ctrl v just to make our head to be on top of the face then that's what we had with our face but when you open we still have everything under our face we just cut it everything on our face so we'll see um that is look good then we can go to our our mouth then we can double click that's selected double click it like that then you click option then you go to change fill then you go to color white because you want it to be white click ok then this is how it will look like and this is not how we want it to look like then you can go straight to your thickness from bottom from the bottom and you can go to add an outline of one then that's how big it will be and we don't want it to be that big we can go to 0 0.5 0 0.3 or 0 0.2 you can just try uh, and see why which uh, size you want so for me I like 0 0.2 you can double click it then we can start reshaping it so let's just try to zoom it then we can take this and make it like to be super close like that just hold it just let's try to fix our mouth we can be doing it like that you know that uh, it gotta appear that um, mouth thing gotta be doing it like that just take this put it here on top take it like this just do it like this do it like this just do it like this we're trying to get okay you can just click here just remove wait for it for that uh, hand to appear then you remove like that filler point 
so now we are trying to get our mouth to be on a perfect shape here we can wait for it to appear then we can uh, remove it first then I would like to add it around this position wait for the hand to appear I would love to add it so that it can have that smooth curve there I will also love to add it here so that I can have that smooth curve wait for the hand to appear sometimes I just rush you can re-edit then you have that smooth curve there then I believe it's too big so um, another thing we can do we can go straight to draw just make sure you double click just to select it then you go straight to your wrapper then it will just wrap uh, your it won't wrap anything be, just because I selected uh, just because I selected on the on the mouth that means it will only wrap the mouth if I select it on another place it will wrap that specific area I don't think you guys do understand what I'm trying to say but that's what I'm saying but at the same time we can drop uh, this so it just that can my thing there so that means if it did that I gotta zoom I gotta undo it but let's just first see how it looks how it looked like before I even go so let's undo it So guys, um, I will say this is all for this episode. Just try to um, just try to get like uh, all those kind of the shapes to on point. After you did that, just try to make sure like uh, some of your some of the things that you do like do align. You know. You see my wrapper just did that uh, brownish uh, spot there on my face mm, and that's not what I want so I'll just undo it undo it then um, you can go straight to to your mouth I don't know why this wrapper don't want to appear though because if I click that X your wrapper must disappear but I don't why I don't know what's wrong with this wrapper so I'll just save my project make sure though you save your project every time I'll just save my project and I'll get back into it but guys I'll say this all this is all for this uh, specific episode we'll just try to um, or just to make sure your mouth is correct then on the next episode we'll be like just try to get our t-shirt and our our towel but we'll be doing the same thing so I will say thank you so much guys for watching this one um, definitely I will see you on the next episode just look what just we did bros just look what we did that pretty looks great that pretty looks great so on an, our next episode we'll be dealing with uh, the t-shirt and its gate then um then we are almost done with our sketch so thank you so much guys i'll see you on the next episode